Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about thyroid ultrasound probe positioning. On the left side is a schematic diagram showing probe placement on the patient's neck. This dotted region is the location of the thyroid. This white box is the ultrasound probe. This red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. Have the patient lie down on their back with a pillow under the shoulders to extend the neck, exposing the anterior neck region. Use a high frequency linear array transducer, typically in the 7 to 12 megahertz range. Place the probe transversely over the thyroid gland in this manner, starting at the level of the cricoid cartilage. The indicator on the probe will be towards the patient's right side, and you will get this type of image. The thyroid is seen in transverse plane, so the right lobe of the thyroid will be on the left side of the image and the left lobe will be on the right side of the image or the screen. The isthmus will always be seen at the upper half of the image and these are the strap muscles. This circular structure with shadowing is the trachea. And these two anechoic round structures are the common carotid arteries. Slide the probe laterally to examine each lobe and move up or down to view the thyroid gland in successive transverse sections. It is important to move the probe up and down to completely scan the thyroid gland and to also evaluate each lobe individually. After that, rotate the probe 90 degrees from the transverse position to scan in longitudinal plane. The indicator should be towards the patient's head and you will get this type of image. In this view, the superior aspect of the thyroid gland will be displayed on the left side of the screen and the inferior margin or inferior aspect is seen on the right side. And these hypoechoic areas are the strap muscles. Slide left and right to examine each thyroid lobe individually in longitudinal plane and you can also slide up and down to examine the full length of each thyroid lobe. Tilting and angling the probe can also help in obtaining more detailed views of the gland and surrounding structures. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.